And uh, one of those happened today in Paraguay. And so students from Paraguay got to ask one of the crew members all different things about uh, the ISS live uh, via ham radio. A third kind of contact, and I'm just learning about this, even though I've, I've kind of been aware of Eris for a while, is a crew requested contact. So Zena Cardman, who is up on the ISS, and she's a ham right now, uh, she, before she was on the ISS, she was on the research vessel EV Nautilus. And she requested that they make a ham radio contact between the ISS and the Nautilus. And they just did that today. And she got to talk to her old friends and they asked different kinds of questions about uh, how instead of, you know, student questions like, how do you go to the bathroom in space and what experiments are you working on now? They could ask things like, what's the difference between living on a ship in the middle of the ocean and a spaceship in the middle of uh, orbit? So it was very interesting. Uh, and that's a uh, that's a fun thing that uh, people can do uh, and watch out for.